Hi everyone, happy Super Bowl Sunday. Let's get started with our project so we can get on with the day. This first one is a tray that I got for free um, from a colleague at work. I am starting off by painting it, all sides of it, in the color casement by Fusion. taking the Spriggs stamp set by IOD and I positioned all of the tall ones um, in a row and I'm going to be stamping those onto the top of the tray and I'm using the color China Blue by IOD as well. This is actually my first time I think using the IOD ink on this channel. I might be wrong. Anyway, I love this color blue. It's my first time using this color and I just needed to use one more sprig to finish off the set and have it go all the way across the tray. I replaced the two handles on the side and this project is done. Second project, I have these two candlesticks that I got at the thrift store for $2.92 for the set. I started by painting them in rich black by Folk Art, and then I'm coming in with the color Jitterbug by Country Chic. It's another kind of chalk paint that is available on Amazon. I went and painted two coats on both of the candlesticks, and then I ended up going all different ways. I tried white wax, I tried dark wax, I tried black wax. I really wasn't a fan of any of them, so I decided to just stick with the gold gilding wax by DIY. And I did that, finished this project up. And honestly, to me, it looks like something that would be perfect around Christmas time. So I'm gonna have to tuck these away with my Christmas stuff and bring them back out then. I hope you enjoyed this quick, fast thrift flip. For our next project, this is a true trash to treasure. This is a beautiful tray table that a friend of mine gave me. She did not want it anymore and she told me I could do whatever I wanted with it. So I'm starting by painting it. I believe I started with the color Cashmere by Fusion and I ended up going in a different direction. I am now taking Casement by Fusion and um, painting it all over. As I'm doing this, I'm noticing that those edges on the side are really not looking good painted so I'm popping them off it was actually not as hard as I expected to pop them off and then sanding it down and then I'm going to repaint it but first I'm going to get out some decoupage paper I forget the name of this one but I will link it below and I'm going to be decoupaging on these gorgeous lambs in the middle of our tray I'm done with the decoupage I am sealing it up with a polyacrylic in satin finish and I'm gonna go ahead and put two coats on there so it's well protected and then I'm gonna go around and paint the sides of the tray inside and outside just on the sides in the color serenity by Dixie Belle and it is a silk all-in-one paint
project, I am going to do just a touch of Valentine's Day. I'm not huge on decorating for Valentine's Day, but I think this one can switch into spring pretty easily. I'm starting by painting these two wooden hearts in the color French Linen by Paint Couture. And then I'm taking this, um, this stencil, I forget the name of the stencil right now, um, and I am painting those stripes on either side of each of the hearts using the color Autumn Sage by Paint Couture. sanding it down just very lightly I'm now taking the kindest regard stamp by IOD and I'm going to be stamping it on with the stone gray IOD ink on each of the hearts Okay, I have this box. Well, I was getting ready to make a box and then I tossed this part to the side and I never finished it. So what we're gonna do is take a piece of wood that is the same size as the two that are already glued together and add on that other side. The next step is we're gonna take those hearts that we made and we are going to glue it to either side, which will create the edges of our box. So when it lies flat, it's gonna, the heart's gonna be on its side. our finished project. I hope you like this one as well as the other ones in this video. Please let me know what you think in the comments.